Hello, and welcome to your science test. You have been working hard and practicing in science, and now it's time for you to show what you know. You're going to use the information that you've learned in science to answer your questions. It says that there are three attempts. You will only be taking the test one time. Since you're taking the test one time, it's important that you take your time and type complete thoughts. When you're ready, you will click Start New Attempt. Schoology has tools to help you be a strong test taker. One of the tools available is that Schoology will read the question to you. So when you press play, Matter Science Test, one of seven, a glass bottle. Once you press play, Schoology will start to read the test to you. If you don't want it to read it from the, all the way to the top to the bottom, if you click this hand, and when the hand is read, that means that you can click where you want it to read. So if you want it to read this question, you would click Which arrow points and it to reads the expected weight of the just the question. If you want it to read from the very top to the bottom, then you would click the hand off. That's one of the tools available. Another tool that you have available is it's called, they call it a screen mask. Sometimes it's called a line guide. So when you click on the screen mask, it allows you to gray out some areas and focus. So this helps me to know that this is what I'm reading, that flora studies the models of a gas liquid and a solid shown in the diagram. And then I can continue to move my screen mask down to help me stay focused and not be distracted by the other items on the screen. Whenever you want the screen mask to go away, you click up here. Another option that you have is flag for review. So maybe you've read this question and you're not quite sure and you want to skip it and come back. So you would click the flag and then you could move to the next question. Another feature, and it doesn't show up anywhere, but it is possible to highlight information. So after you have read all of this, if you wanted to highlight, so I highlight, whoops, that's not what I wanna do. So if I just highlight right here, and then it pops up. So see right here how it pops up, and you can choose different colors. So I have that highlighted for green, and you can keep going. Something else that you can do is you can highlight and use control C and then click in the response box and do control V. So if ever there's information from the question that you need to use, you can do that. <clears throat> Another tool that's along the side here is the calculator. Um, in science, I'm testing what you know in science. I'm not testing your adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So if there is a math problem and you want to use the calculator, you can do that. And I'm going to go back to question three to show you that you can eliminate your answer choices. So if I've read and I know that I don't want this as an answer choice, I can use that to eliminate the answer choice and to get to stop that, then you just click and it will stop. <clears throat> On this question, it looks like you can type your answer right here, but you cannot type your answer here. So you're going to type your answer for A and B down in the answer choice. Question seven says, the last question is on paper. Follow the directions on the worksheet. So I will give you a worksheet and you will do question seven on the worksheet. Once you've done question seven on the worksheet, then you click yes. Once you are finished, you click review. And this, see how there's a flag here that tells me that I need to go answer that question. So once I answer, then I can go back through And I'm ready once it clicks review, so I click review. And then after I made sure that there's no more flags and I've answered all of the questions, I click finish. Now, you will get one more question that says, are you sure you want to submit? And you click yes. 
So in order for you to submit, you have to click review, finish, and yes. While you're working, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. I'm here to help.